Hi Gemini, this is going to be an art channeled message. I channel messages through art, creativity, it's just kind of my thing, that's what I'm trying to introduce here. So I really hope you are interested in it, hope you enjoy it. And I really hope my messages inspire you to see the art within yourself, within your journey, because we all start from zero, we all start from a blank canvas. The most beautiful pieces of art always start with nothing on it. So think about that. Also, if you'd like a personal message, personal reading, all the information and options are in the description box under each video, as well as what to do, directions. Also, there knows, there's no rules to my messages, so if this finds you, it's definitely meant for you. You can binge watch them, do anything with them. They're, everyone's welcome here, everyone can watch. What I started drawing for you was an electric candle. It's those types of lights you'd see by a window or windowsill, but it's not a candle. It just looks like one. I'm seeing the hermit, and I forgot he's literally holding something similar to that in his hands on the card. Then I got wanting to know more, wanting to get more information. I was also seeing Dopey from Snow White unexpectedly. They were all too chicken to go up the steps, so they sent him up with a candle and a dish. He took one for the team. He was brave. So I'm seeing you're going to be in that energy, Gemini. Like, don't worry, I'll look into this. Or even, I'll look into this creepy place for you. <laughs> gives, me the, gives me the feel of a parent checking the closet for monsters because the child just does not want to, doesn't want to know, doesn't want to do it, they're too scared. So they send someone up or they send someone to do like the dirty work for them. I should also mention my light is crooked. I'm seeing the light by a window once more. Someone is looking through a window. This is a window to information. There's an opening and then I heard opportunity. Lastly, I feel gravitated towards Dopey's personality. He doesn't speak. He just rolls with everything. He's very naive. And he's viewed as a bit dumb, but is he? And also, Dopey spoke with his hands. He told them what he saw with his hands after he came back down. He was terrified. And I'm seeing someone could be potentially tricking you or at least expecting you to take care of something like Dopey. And it happens a lot in movies where, you know, when they give them a nudge, they kind of push them <laughs> into doing it. And they're like, okay, you check. And I'll stay here. They always send one person up to do it. So that's kind of the energy this is in. So that also symbolizes everyone expecting you to, to do it. It's like you're the brave one. You're the one that knows everything. So maybe that's a compliment deep down. Do you guys know what I mean, though, with the you be the brave one and we'll stay back? That happens so much. I've seen it in so many things. Two of swords. I'm getting that scared feeling. Like, I don't, I don't want to look at this. I'm too scared. And I'm also getting the feel of someone blindfolded yet they're trying to reach for something. The only thing they really have is their sense of taste and their hearing. Something causes someone to feel very defensive. Ace of Wands. Didn't I say an opportunity presents itself? Or an opportunity to learn about something? An opportunity to figure something out? So yeah, someone doesn't... Something isn't seen yet, or realized, but I think it's about to be. Yeah, it, this reminds me of it too, like the Four of Cups. No one, no one wanted to do this. No one wanted to fulfill this task, but you are. You're brave enough. I'm seeing swords as like, nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna hurt me. I'm not scared of anything. I'm not, you're just that type of person. I'm also seeing the Ace of Wands as bravery, too. 
So an I can do anything type energy. Then we have Ace of Cups right next to it. I'm getting bravery leads to fulfillment. You doing this task will be successful. I'm also getting fulfill as in like actually filling a cup. It's like overflowing, it's finished. I'm also getting you went above and beyond. You got you did more than you were supposed to. It's kind of like how someone you do an assignment but or you get extra credit or you do extra credit. Like you just went above and beyond. You did past everything that was required. So I'm saying you're definitely going to go above and beyond for these people, this person. They would be very satisfied with you, very happy with you. Emperor. I'm seeing that as bravery as well. It's like I'm getting like you looked something straight. Or you were straight in harm's way. The devil. Yeah. Then King of Swords. Something that could have been difficult was not. Something that could have trapped you or hurt you. Could even be something as extreme as like being afraid of heights or having to do something where it could be semi-dangerous. But I feel like you're really good at that. And I'm really drawn to the swords on the cards for some reason. We have a lot of air here. And we have vanity. Someone's very full of themselves. <laughs> full, I'm, I gravitated towards this right away. Someone's very full of themselves. But I'm seeing that in a good way, like, satisfied, like, I can't believe I did that. I don't even think you're gonna have a problem with taking on these tasks and doing favors for people, because I feel like it's definitely an ego boost for you. I feel like you're definitely praised. It's like you save the day. They send one person to kill the monster, and they come back, and they did it. Oh, and then research. I was getting, like, researching information, finding information. Oh, I'm even seeing someone wants you to get um, information on somebody. Somebody that might not be doing good things. They might not, not be a good person. So it's like you're looking into it. That might even be your profession. You do background checks on people. <laughs> you see what's behind the way they pre present themselves in public. You're just seeing a lot of private information that is very telling. And I feel like someone's going to be very thankful that you tell them who someone really is. I've been seeing background check before things get serious, before there's a commitment. It's like, this is like the dark side of the lovers. It's the opposite. I'm seeing Dopey again. You know, he turns around as soon as he sees that unfamiliar thing laying in their beds. Turns around, runs away. I feel like this information is going to be very shocking. Very, very shocking. It's like, oh, I didn't know it was going to be this much. I didn't know it was going to be this interesting. Someone could also be in a position of power, like I said, a position of power where they're surrounded by people, people look up to them, but unfortunately, a lot of people in our that are in a position of power should not be, if you know what I mean. I feel, like, I feel like something about an authority is going to be revealed through a background check or some type of research. Someone's very smart and good at that stuff. They're the hermit. Talent is pursued interest. Anything you're willing to practice, you can do. So a lot of the theme here is bravery. I'm saying bravery can be acquired. 
So I feel like you weren't always brave. You weren't always that one people went to, but you became that way. Because you pushed yourself. You put yourself in uncomfortable situations. And I feel like also you'd like to help people. You like ensuring people are safe, especially when it comes to their love interests. You're always like, let me look into this first. Let me check this out for you. And we have, you really can learn to be creative as you paint. It's like anything else, it just takes a little practice. Yeah, there's a lot of that here. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. I feel like too, by researching, you're learning a lot. And then each time it comes around, you're even better. I feel like someone literally used to be such a wimp, but now it's like you're ready to take on anything. It's almost like you feel invincible. You feel like a wizard. You feel like Merlin. I'm even seeing you're not scared even when it comes to another powerful person. It's like you... Some people might seem powerful, but are they really? Are they really? This is very interesting and unexpected. It kind of reminds me of some readings I've done in the past, but... Yeah. Okay, Gemini. That's the end of this channeled message. Please like, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can. I really hope that made sense. I really hope you got something from it, despite it being very random and all over the place. I really hope you grasped the idea here. But yeah. Bye.